Hello, this is Graham, and this is a short video exploring transpersonal psychotherapy for level four therapeutic counselling students. Francis Vaughan, quoted here, was one of the pioneers of the modern era of transpersonal psychology. There were plenty of others before, but they were more concerned with philosophical concepts. Attaining such a state where your sense of identity is no longer just you, but instead you feel a part of something much bigger, is often referred to as a spiritual rather than a religious experience. People also describe this as being a moment when they felt in touch with nature, awed by the scale of the universe or having an overwhelming sense of peace. Pause for a moment to think about what this definition means. Work of the philosopher William James, dating from 1905, that of Carl Jung, published in 1917 and 1942, and the school of therapy known as psychosynthesis, which was developed by Roberto Assagioli around 1911, are all seen as forerunners of the transpersonal movement. The human potential movement of the 1950s and 1960s and the humanist school of therapy pioneered by Carl Rogers and Abraham Maslow in the mid 1960s both strongly influenced a more diverse range of authors to explore this idea of going beyond the self. Names from the 1970s, 80s and 90s include Anthony Sutich, Stanislav Grof, Ken Wilber, Francis Vaughan, Roger Walsh and Seymour Burstein. Most of these authors began their psychotherapeutic studies in the humanistic area. The transpersonal is an emotional state where we feel particularly strongly connected to something beyond ourselves, perhaps with another human being or an animal, perhaps with an aspect of nature or the vastness of space through the stars in the night sky. Perhaps harder to grasp, the transpersonal can also be a feeling, an emotional atmosphere of a place or event. Often people visiting somewhere describe this as a feeling of peacefulness, calm or a vibe, the vibrational impact on someone. While this could be a spa or retreat centre, it can also be the atmosphere of a riot, of a fair, of a sports event or a musical concert. This sense of connection is so powerful that at times we feel and even act as one. Transpersonal psychology is the study of what this is about, how we achieve it, what happens to our bodies when we do, what kinds of things are going on around us at the same time, and so on. Transpersonal psychotherapy helps people make sense of the experiences and develop the resources to achieve them more often. Drawing on the concept of the transpersonal, this profound sense of connection, has led to a re-examination of many other disciplines. There are now publications exploring the transpersonal dimension in the fields of social work, ecology, art, literature, acting, law, business, entrepreneurship, eco-psychology, feminism and education. To experience the transpersonal then is about having a sense of identity that goes beyond the self, a oneness with nature, society, all beings and even the infinity of space. This is perhaps the most important concept to grasp. It's about extending yourself beyond you to embrace a larger world. Feeling an intimacy within this wider space, a sense of connection or communication, without trying to influence it and without becoming dependent on it for your own emotional well-being. Many people try to approach this through meditation or the spiritual element of yoga. For others, it evolves as they undertake therapy where they use this time to explore their place in the world, their values, and how they'll use their skills to make a difference. Key to many is the process of opening up to their reflective journal, not being guarded in it, but coupling this with a fairly systematic weekly review of what they've been doing and feeling and what their impact has been. Spend a few minutes reflecting on the link between self-actualization, congruence, and the ability to experience the transpersonal. You might want to try adding these ideas to your reflective journal.
Thank you for watching. Your feedback is always welcome, as are ideas for future courses, classes or videos.